Hello and welcome to Air Mech Arena, a um, MOBA RTS out now for the PlayStation 4 and I think Xbox One. If it's not out, it should be out soon. It's a um, kind of a fun little um, MOBA RTS. It's uh, been out for a while on PC and so like Chrome and Steam since 2012. Actually look up the Steam version, it's still in early access. I don't know what that means. Um, but what I mean by mobile RTS is a um, you play the role of a character and uh, that character spawns units from outposts and you lift them up and you drop them on the battlefield. The, the units don't spawn out, they spawn on top, they, there's a queue, so you have to pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off. So you can pick up multiple people, multiple units, and then drop them off in, in, in an area, but there is no, like, rally point, like in a traditional thing. In the MOBA sense, there is a, your character, there's a couple different characters, they have advantages, disadvantages, uh, uh, some carry more units, while others are more powerful, uh, but carry less, uh, more have... Some have more HP, some have less HP, faster or slower. Anyways, it is free to play, both on PC, Xbox, and uh, PlayStation 4. Um, so I'm gonna quick do a quick little thing of the um, of the shop. It's actually a really cool shop. It's um, so we'll just show off the bat. So you could spend easily 150 150 thousand dollars, but that's a lot. Uh, that's a lot, and uh, you get a lot of diamonds, and most stuff I've seen is, like, around, I think the most I've ever seen was, like, 4,000, so, like, 2,000, five bucks can give you a lot, of, can go a long ways, if you want to buy one thing. So, let's, uh, um, first off, uh, you start off with some basic units, you can buy some more, or you can, uh, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. You can buy some more. Um, they're from your loadout. Depending on how you build, you can do, you know, uh, you do infantry or combat, which is your vehicles. So you got like a light recon, um, like Humvee, tanks, uh, a little bit of artillery, uh, anti-air, which these, there's only, the only air in the game are the mechs. So there's no point of the anti-air. So I don't understand that. Uh, then there's like these turtle light, some utility stuff, um, and they get, the more expensive they are for buying, uh, you know, the more, the more stats they'll have, but, you know, the higher the price, so like, uh, these two things are practically the same thing, but one, the Joker, uh, you know, 1800 build cost, seven, uh, uh, build time 3.5, but then the upgraded version, the Jackal, um, you know, has more, does more. And, uh, let's see here, what else, there's, you know, there is some, some paid, some, some of these are paid, so, this is purely cosmetic, but this, this is really weird, um, they don't seem, like, this is Ultimate Goliath and Ultimate, um, Bucky, I don't know, it's, it seems a little bit weird, but they are heavy duty, um, heavy duty vehicles that you probably want to do late game, and then, you know, there's infantry too. You know, the cheaper, faster one, but, you know, you just mass spa spawn them. Wow. Flamer. Huh. Interesting. These are actually a viable. Huh. I might have to try it, but, uh... Then there's your, um, stationaries, which is your buildings that you plop down. Um, turrets can be placed anywhere on the grounds, while, uh, money makers... And I don't know about these. I know money makers don't... You get spe special, um... Some outposts have like little little nodes near them, and you can put uh, stuff on there. So if you put turrets on there, they regen faster. Um, you can also get bombs and uh, mines. You can spawn. And uh, what else have we got here? Some uh, support units, healers. Uh, wait, what is this? Uh, you know, guardians, which are. Uh, Which are your, uh, like, little, um, what are they called? They're from Galaga, not Galaga, um, Gradius. Uh, little things that float around you. You upgrade that in your, uh, while you play the game. And then you can also get air mechs. Uh, here is, like, kind of like the, the whole, this is all of them you can own along with their skins. Uh, each one have several different skins, uh, you know, 
but you unlock them as you progress. Hmm. That's interesting. Ultimates. So these are like, I don't know. Like. Hmm. You level up your guy and. I don't know, like just new pilots and all that stuff. Uh, cosmetic stuff, pure cosmetic, blah, 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 nothing. Nothing here. Um, you uh, you start off as a red versus blue, but you can buy um, buy uh, schematics for your uh, colors for your game, for, y for your side. Parts, upgrade your, uh, your, uh, your, um, your mech. Do like, you know, plus... Style plus air speed gun, uh, air mech gun attacks power, or lose in, but you lose uh, ground speed and other stuff. And then pilots, different pilots you unlock. You gotta spend um, kudos, which is your income currency, and then uh, you can also buy them through the uh, the ultimates through the um, through diamonds. So they do have like plus or minus of stuff. Um, boost, you know, your typical boost items, you know, cosmetic stuff. Uh, some other stuff, cosmetics. There we go. And then I don't know what this does. I don't. I don't know what these are. I I don't. Oh, maybe these are the things you can buy. Hmm. I don't know. They, they, there's a uh, what are these? Uh, rare. Yeah, these are like the chests you could buy, and you maybe sell through stuff through that. And uh, that's it for the shop. Uh, just like in LOL or Dota, you can um, you can just watch people play a game. So you can play any of these games. Or you watch them and all that stuff. And then the main game consists of um, solo play, co-op, or PvP. It's, it kind of progresses you through, uh, you know, you want to win some matches in solo, then win, win some matches in co-op, and then win some matches in PvP. Uh, solo is pretty straightforward. Uh, there are survival challenges. The game actually drops you into challenges right away, and I thought that was really weird. A tutorial. So let's do a scrimmage here, a 1v1. Um, so here's your different um, your mechs you can get. You start off with the the Shrek, which is like the generic, all-purpose class. You know, different skins you can have here. Um, the Helix is kind of a, you know, the helicopters. There's two helicopters. No, I, I guess that's an Osprey. Uh, and then a Chinook. They carry more, but they do less damage. So you can just see their stats here. So carry capacity is 254. Uh, the bomber is going to do a little bit more. Um, Get to carry less. Uh, they all, the abilities also are, you know, they have abilities. Bombs. Um, ground speed, energy drain, um, you know, all that stuff. So I like doing the Helix because he's because he can carry more. Um, we we'll do that. Some items I have here. Uh, this is gonna allow me to get more credits earned, but less style. I have no idea what that means. And then my guardian, and then um, some other stuff here. This is my. You can choose up to um, eight units. That includes buildings too. So I have my um, currency. Creator and then a, a turret and then some a heavy tank, uh, artillery, medium tank, and kind of a Humvee, basic infantry, and a recon. And here's some um, um, uh, like parts you can put on to like you know transfer speed. You get transfer speed, but you have uh, you know faster blah blah blah. I don't know. I showed you it in the shop. You can just where you put it in. And then cosmetic stuff. So let's uh, let's start here. Let's see here. So I like to start off. You get a 20 second thing, and you can't go farther than you know the circle here. So you get instant respawn. Put these here. They only work in the um, when they're tied to that thing. Two here. You automatically generate creep. Those are the, but they're basic infantry. Let's see here, there's some more guys here. One, two, three. Uh, infantry capture the outpost and they defend the area. Like to build up uh, resources first. Here's 
this guy. Anything here? Yeah, let's do this guy. And then we're gonna do that. So the white is the uh, like a neutral party that just spawns on the thing. So here we're given uh, on the D-pad. I can give in a couple orders. So the pressing up would go to the nearest outpost. Pressing left will go to the straight to the um, the fortress, which is the enemy base, which you want to destroy. Uh, right is patrol, and then bottom is link. I don't know, but I just want to go to the to the uh, to the um, what do you call it? The the thing. So again, the uh, the um, these credit factories, they definitely need to be on the thing. I was playing with a game that actually guy just responded to me. He was putting it off in the field in the in the middle of nowhere. He probably didn't understand how those worked. Press L um, L2 to transfer into the thing. Hurt. Going over to a uh, base will provide you with health and it'll also repair the any units you have equipped. The blue lines there, uh, that's kind of like a bar, that's that's the energy there. Constant respawn, constantly thing, but it constantly regens. But it's say if you have a lot of health or like two, a lot of units that require health, uh, the um, they will like take some time to replenish. So I'm like got a lot of money, but I'm like. Uh, so you can do L1, 2, and R1, but I like to do L1 for um, base building here. Why can I? Some missiles, more experience, and bats. So I'm holding R2 for an ability, which is my rocket bots. Uh, so we got health in the uh, top left, or the top, uh, my energy bar, which is my, um, which is my, uh, my, my feel and how, my shooting. So if I run out of feel, I can't shoot and I can't carry anything. Unless I go onto the ground, then I refuel. Jesus Christ, they are not... Oh, they took it over. Cool. So actually, let's, uh, let's get some infantry here. So infantry are the only ones that just aut are automated, which is uh, pretty cool. So you can just go over here and uh, oop, and they will just automatically control that. So now these guys are here. So when I'm in the air, I can't shoot, so I have to get on the ground to shoot. Go. And again, when I'm on the ground, I can't shoot air. Let's build some turrets. Now the turrets do count as my uh, my keep. Uh, unlike you know, say in Warcraft, you we get more of keep. You uh, you can't you can't carry as much units, which I find but your you your efficiency for getting um your you, uh, resources is less, which I, I kind of don't like. I like creating mass units. So I got that 
back. Oh, I link it with that. That okay. It's like a defend. So there is no rock, paper, shotgun, I have noticed, or uh, rock, rock, paper, uh, scissors, so no, infantry does, like, in, like, typical command and conquer, um, infantry is good at tanks, tanks are good at, uh, it's like, infantry, like, the rifleman was good at anti-tank, the anti-tank are good at, uh, uh, tanks, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but it's like, it's, it's simple compared to, uh, you know, it's a numbers game, which, uh, you know, more higher numbers equals more damage. Shit, I didn't want to do that. Go. Let's get that and then that. Oh, I got this guy too. Cool. Here. Oh, and once you c capture enough, you uh, you slowly um, do damage to their uh, to their um, to the thing if you control enough output. Oh, am I capturing that one too? Jesus! Oh, I did capture this one. Uh, the missile blast is an ability I have. There is some abilities that some have, like some. Not everybody is unique. And that's it for the game. Go. And I get experience. There we go. <sighs> but that, that's uh. Oh, I got something. Um. That's it for um, for co-op or single. I kind of like playing games bots. I think a lot more people are gonna do that. I'm I'm more scared about PVP um, and all that stuff. Uh, the co-op uh, when you're playing with multiple people, it's kind of like the same map, but there's there's two different people. So you can have one person, you know, doing the uh, doing the action. Say, um, uh, let's see, do a two v two here. Uh, you know, you can, um, let's change, we can have the, uh, the Warthog, which is actually really good at, uh, doing ground and all that stuff. Um, but it's not 
good at carrying capacity and then maybe have like a uh, helicopter doing all that stuff or you know have this doing damage see you can't even carry stuff but it you know it's a tactical tactical vehicle get it free with prime hmm cool so you do you get a lot of stuff you can get prime um you know, all that stuff what how much is prime again oh it's 20 bucks what's up in the top though I don't how do you how do I get up there it says VIP 125 hmm so I'm getting instant access to all for uh oh and a huge section and silver VIP for life place to get gold for 60 days and a host of other stuff you can also get the exclusive prime helix skin to show off in game so it's like 20 bucks seems like you can get a lot and um, and a lot of stuff. Here's a starter pack for 10 bucks. So it's um, it seems pretty good. Um, and all that stuff. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, that's that's pretty much it. That's um, Air Mech Arena or um, Air Mech Arena for PS4. I'll probably do a video on PC, seeing how that's doing. Um, I'm still surprised that it's on early access. Uh, uh, but yeah, that, that version also controls um, controller. It, I, I didn't like it on the um, comp, on the PC. I feel like a direct control, having you know that thumbstick being dedicated to your uh, to your movement. That's why I feel like Diablo is actually kind of fun on the on a console. But as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.